Oh, exciting! Get off the table! <laughs> oh my god! They look sick! Guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I've just scooped a heap of pre-workout and uh, come out to the garage to come and play with this car today. <laughs> You've probably seen by the title that we're going to be... Uh, well, I don't know what the title's going to be because I don't know how far we're going to get today, but let's face it. I'm going to plan on putting on the new drive shafts that I got from Beresford. Oh, I'll show you them. Come on. Skills. Look at them. They're like, they look purple. And I'm not sure if that's a protective coating or if I need to paint them or what. I would like to paint them like pink or something like that. But anyway, um, yeah, I also got the old ones back as well. Because they worked all right and obviously we're doing like 500 brake horsepower launches, on welded shafts, um, I've asked for them back. So yeah, the car is still in bits. Uh, parts are all over the shop. We've got the garage bench, which is a mess as usual. So yeah, just uh, quickly, I'm just about to kind of clean this up and I found this ABS sensor. So just a wee shout out to this guy here, Ryzen Sun. Uh, he's on eBay, sells like Mazda RX-7 parts. And like RX-7 parts is quite expensive nowadays. Um, this guy must absolutely fucking hate me, yeah, because every, every time he puts someone on that I need, like, he'll maybe put it for a half reasonable price, like that ABS sensor, you can't really buy them anymore, um, and it's going to be bolt on, but anyway, yeah, he'll put that up for, like, sort of 15 quid, and I'm like, £7.50, send an offer in, <laughs> he always just tells me to fuck off, like, but uh, I'm not sure if he watches these films or no videos or what, but if you do, thank you very much, brother, and, uh, yeah, I think I'll stick this wee sticker up on the toolbox. And uh, yeah, so this ABS sensor here, you guys would have seen the ABS sensor I'm running just now. It's an MX5 one running on the 350Z diff. The 350Z diff has uh, an ABS ring on it, although it's 46 uh, teeth. The front is 44 teeth, which is standard um, RX-7. And this is a rear for an RX-7, so... Um, yeah, I'm getting some slight discrepancies between front and rear. So yeah, part of this video, um, you would have seen the last video when I was accelerating and first anyway, it was revving up, but it wasn't accelerating. And I think it's one wheel peel. I think the 350Z diff is actually just, you know, unlocking and spinning the one wheel, which is shy, obviously, we don't want that. Um, so we're going to take the 350Z diff out and uh, we're going to weld it. It's a viscous LSD. Um, so, yeah, they're shy anyway, so uh, yeah, we'll do that, but if it's too much for me, I'll maybe invest in a plated diff, uh, so, uh, but as the 350Z diff itself, like the pumpkin, is really strong, so it's going to be future-proof for me, uh, so I don't mind maybe chucking a diff in there, um, if I do, like, the locked life, we'll see, it's not a drift car, it's more of a drag car now, to be fair, although it's not very good at that either, um, but yeah, anyway, let's clean this shit up and uh, start wiping that down. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever rebuilt CV joints before, but they're a fucking nightmare. Uh, basically, they've all very slight tapers on them. And uh, yeah, this can only go one way, this can only really go one way, but it looks like it could go the other way and you can put it around and spin it around and it doesn't fit and you start screaming and you start crying. and you, you, like I want to put it together as a dry fit. But you can't really do that because you're guaranteed someone will go tits up or you'll forget one of these clips. Yeah, and these clips, by the way, I lost one, so I just made one out of a bit of TIG filler. So she'll work a treat. Um, yeah, so the 350Z style one is okay. If I remember, it was the RX-7 when it was giving me jip last time. Um, I'll probably just give these a bit of a clean, these cages, and uh, yeah, there is yeah, so it's all coming back to me now. Um, the 350Z has a larger cup, however it has a smaller internal spider. This is the smaller cup with the larger spider. Um, and then this just has like a little circle clip that goes in the middle here. It's not a circle clip, it's just like, um, like a spring clip. Uh, and the reason for that is when you're dissembling it, you need to basically smash the fuck out of the CV. And uh, this basically collapses in there and uh, collapses in and then it'll pop off. 
yeah, bit of a pain in the ass, but... Right, so, no joke, probably about half an hour, an hour later, <laughs> uh, the RX-7 side of the CV joint, you need to actually assemble it without the shaft in it, because this needs to cock, like, I uh, like, probably in 100 degrees or something like that, so. Right, on to the 350Z style side now, uh, obviously you need to make sure the boots are on first. Uh, this one is actually just circlipped on the top here, uh, which I would have probably preferred over the RX-7 type. Um, but yeah. Right, so the way to do it is, uh, hold this with my left hand, get your ball bearing and uh, push it in the side, dunk it down, and then just tilt over the shaft. Open up the next one, smash it in, spin it around a bit more. Make sure all your ball bearings don't fall out and pull out too much. 